Yes, it's in video. All right, so we are going to talk about the difference between American grocery stores and Filipino grocery stores. Because I have noticed a trend. My dear, loving, beautiful wife Is it? Are you prefers... complaining? No, I'm not complaining at all. In fact, I love your cooking and I... And I, well, I I'm just curious, you seem to love uh, the Chinese market, authentic, you know, Chinese, well, the only, Filipino not, food versus... Not, so, uh, okay, so, so that tell me. grocery store is Chinatown market, but actually it's not only Chinese goods or food. So there's other, it's like Asian mm -hmm. market. So there's Japanese, Korean, um, Indian uh -huh. um, goods. So, which I really like because there's tocino, there's malasita seasonings, and other other Filipino snacks. That's why I okay. like it there. So, I guess the question I have, how does an American supermarket compare? So, like, like we go to Walmart, or we go to Smith's, or we go to uh, Albertsons, or not a lot of Albertsons, uh, Costco. How does that compare to uh, typical shopping grocery store in the Philippines? Well, it depends where are you going. So if, if well, Costco is like you have to buy it in bulk, right? Mm -hmm. So in Philippines we have S and R. So it's most. I think S and R is so. Um, America, you need to call to buy in bulk. Yes. Okay. And is it Philippines? You can buy in smaller quantities. Yes. All right. That's right. With the exception of what? Maybe Winco or. That's true. So Walmart, Costco, these are huge grocery store. And in Philippines, you can. Most likely, it's similar to S&R. Mm -hmm. And if in Philippines, if I go to s &R, it's like very, very um, rare occasion unless I'm, I wanted to buy important goods, which I cannot find in SM or Robinson. What are some stores. imported goods that... That I... That I well, yeah, I've noticed that like you'll, you'll see something go, oh, I gotta have that, like the adobo. Or the tocino, yeah. or the yeah, some of that flavoring that is just not popular, not common in an American grocery store. Of course, it's very rare, right? Um, either I have to go fly to California or Las Vegas, where there's a seafood city. Um, so, in the seafood city, probably. I'll share with you the link. It's everything is there. The grocery store is focused on Filipino um, products. Okay. Everything, almost everything, and um, and yeah, majority are imported from Philippines. And there's Chow King, there is Red Ribbon, there is Jollibee, there's um, and then there's some Filipino restaurants as well. Um, Jerry's Grill, Max's, those are... So now, are... draw some par so now draw some parallels. Those are the ones that, of course, you feel fo close to in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. the Philippines. What are some things that maybe you've like said, oh, I love this in America? Like maybe a restaurant or a style or type of food or, or really oh, nothing? Well, I love cheesecake factory because I love their cheesecake. Do you like their, yeah, they got good juice, cheesecake. Do you like their food? I like, yeah, I like their food too. Um, I like the crab. Where did we, where did we buy the crab? The... Um, Market the, Street Grill? It's kind of a fancier place or? Yeah. 
Um, I think it was the Market Street Grill. Well, or possibly Red Lobster, although... Yes. So, again, I mean, if I was... If I were um, in the Philippines, I'm not gonna buy expensive, like, lobster or crab, king crab, because it's expensive. Maybe $100 cost in Philippines. Mm -hmm. Here, you can get, I don't know how much, $50? And then steak, as well as steaks are... Steaks that is are... something that, yeah, steaks are something yeah. that I'm not gonna buy in Philippines. Mm -hmm. It's not because it's not good, but it's just too pricey. Mm. Here you can have it once in a while, and unless you just have to stop converting <laughs> your dollars into pesos, then you're good. But I have noticed that, <laughs> Elaine, everywhere we go, you're converting. Well, how much would that cost in pesos? And as you add it up, and then I hear this gasp, and you're like, oh my gosh, that is so expensive. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, the price we paid for, I don't know, the bike that I got you, the kids. It was a really good, it was a decent starter mountain bike for you to learn it's on. kids bike. Yeah. And probably in Philippines, you'll get it like, um, for, if it's really, really good, maybe 2,000 yeah. pesos, so... Um, Two thousand pesos is uh, about fifty bucks. 50? Yeah. Whereas the one we got you was just over five hundred dollars, which is a Kids decent bike. starter bike. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you converted that in your head, and I heard a gasp. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy that kind of bike in Philippines. My gosh, that's too pricey. I can get maybe one thousand five hundred for a bike. Kids you want a video? Take a picture of that. That's a ski lodge, American ski lodge. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. This has been episode two of the Phil M Life, and I am enjoying and loving my life with my beautiful bride. And I'm going to end this with me playing a little off-road car driving here, and just remembering and saying how blessed and amazing life is having Elaine with me. And she has her quirks, but you know what? Her quirks are amazing, and I wouldn't trade them for anything. So we'll be doing future videos on things like what maybe irk, we irk or bother each other and stuff like that. And I'm going to show a little preview of Elaine and I as I'm giving her a little bit of driving lessons. God bless everyone. She loves... Oh... She loves to shop, and this must be a girl thing, but she gave up all of her makeup, and she gave up so much stuff to come be with me. She only had two bags and a big backpack, and you gave all of your makeup to your sister, and I saw how she just was plastered with your makeup in the next picture we saw.